Good evening, ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land. I am Deleted Scenes, and I would like to welcome you to the other side of midnight. Already in the chat. Faithful Blue Wrench, the bird woman of YouTube, Connie Cleary. Something, something, dark side, last call. Eh, whatever. He knows who he is. Friend of the channel, Kronos. Joining us from the future, Sashi. The reason I know you are all really here, Twitter's network. Now, I bet you're all wondering who's on the panel tonight, because I asked that question on my community page all of about a minute and a half ago. I'm not very good at this community page thing. Something I'll have to work on. Yeah, you see, it's the future Kronos, but uh, it's only like three minutes ahead. It's kind of like Max Headroom. JP RPH one in a house. My guests are waiting patiently backstage. So I'm going to bring them on. Ladies and gentlemen, the host of Films with Friends, the creator of the 10 word review. Big Gal presents. Hello, everybody. How's it going tonight? Thanks for having me on. Host of Friday Night Last Call, co host of Geeky Geezers, my co host on live from Sparkwood 21, Trep Shelley. Hello, hello. And uh, co-host of all of those shows. <laughs> that does not work. Oh. <laughs> Hello. And of course, my partner in crime. The creator of Western Cinema Presents. And Action Theater. Toxic Gunslinger himself, Jedi Bill. You are muted, sir. Hello there. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right. Okay, that's it for the show. Good night. <laughs> what? Thank what? you, what? ladies what? and gentlemen. I feel Thank sure you all for being here. Oh, good. I'm good. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's it. Uh, it's a great show. It was good seeing everybody. Great show. Probably the best one I've ever done. Thank you, everyone. Wait, good we, night. We didn't I, start any controversy yet. I, I do want to say I like I like Curtis's avatar. If if that if it's what I think it is, Maximilian from the black hole. Yep. It is. Yes. Nice. Nice. All right. And hello to the Clue channel. Good to see you, sir. The Clue. All right. Um, well, um, stirring up controversy. Um, okay. It's It's been on my mind. Let, let's just um, get to mm -hmm. it. Hello, Real Wave Nation Gaming Clips. Um well, um, I know I probably kicked the hornet's nest earlier tonight. Um, 
on unscripted because that's what that show's for, you know. Um, you know, that's my opportunity to pour gasoline on the fire. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I probably did that tonight. Um, although, you know, I haven't heard anything negative yet. We'll, we'll see. Um, because, you know, I was covering, you know, some touchy subjects, you know. And that's, you know, self-deletion and, like, being accused in a public forum and not necessarily an illegal one, you know. And then we we also have, you know, people I'm sure we all know who are on Twitter right now who are beefing and we're trying our best to stay out of it. But who knows how long that's going to last. You know, and that, that's something that really, really has me worried, you, you know, is that we are in a culture war, whether we want to be in it or not, we're in it, you know, and it's kind of, it, 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 so it's already this kind of us versus them attitude. You know, so this fellowship that we're in or community, whatever word you want to use. Um, my fear has always been that it will fracture. And I'm kind of seeing that happen right now. You know, and, and, and that has me that has me concerned. You know, because, you know, I, I consider my channel a, a no drama channel. I'm trying to get along with everybody um, and kind of staying above the fray. But, you know, mm -hmm. um, have we reached a point where, you know, so, because, because my, my, go ahead, Bill. Um, yeah, go ahead. I can say that's my philosophy too. I just, uh, I think I was mentioning it a little earlier uh, behind the scenes. I, I just try to avoid uh, all the, all the infighting and the, the, uh, the, the social noise that sometimes um, dominates uh the Twitter feed or, or any, any social media feed, you know, someone's got a beef with somebody, someone's upset at this political person, someone's upset with this celebrity. Uh, and, and I'm, I'm just like, I just don't want to be in it. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> No, I mean, you know, that, that, you know, that's, that's how I feel about it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, I, I kind of feel like we're back in a schoolyard in a way, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, it's just like, guys, this, and I even said it on Twitter tonight, you know, and I, I, and I kept names out of it. And I was just, let's just go to, you, you know, um, let's just go to our neutral corners and, um, you know, because I, I, I even said it tonight on, on Unscripted, you know, back when um, 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 Doomcock and Robert Meyer Burnett were having their beef last year. You know, and I, and I said on the show, look, my channel's neutral ground. If you two want to debate, you know, you, please feel free to come on. We'll set up time. Nobody answered me back, you know, um, which is perfectly fine. But, uh, you know, I was willing to do that. You know, I, I was... Yeah, you know, I was uh, lobbying to bring Chris Stuckman on to this show and have him say his piece. You know, after uh, after you know his uh, kind of whole Madam Web non-review. Um, 
so when I did my unscripted about that, you know, I, I, I made it clear, look, this is not a hit piece. You know, um, I, you know, I'm, you know, I can rant, I can rave, but it's not personal. Um, although tonight's show, maybe there's going to be a few people who might think that was personal. Um, because maybe it is. Um, but, you know, I, I, I try to... I, I, I'm doing my best to get along with everybody. And if I'm in a situation where I can be a peacemaker for once, mm -hmm. you know, then I, I would like to do that. You know, uh, I, I, trust me, I know what it's like to be at the center of a, or, or, you know, I'm kind of have your foot on different fronts and, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not fun. <laughs> Because, you know, like like you said, it'd be nice if everybody could just get along. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, there's people out there who love drama, mm -hmm. love to be in it, love to kick it up and sit back and then watch what happens, or... Uh, or, or like I said, or just just hover over it all and just, just take it in, you know, and and enjoy it like you know they're in the coliseum or something hmm. that's just something i choose not to engage in i i i go to twitter i put up my video thing i might glance at a couple of odd things in the feed just to kind of get a clue to, uh to what's going on but mo mostly it's to uh see if anybody i anybody i follow has posted anything that's really good, you know, and, but not all the little social backbiting kind of stuff. Yeah, I tried to, you know, and apparently from what I'm understanding, there was apparently a couple of people beefing on another live stream earlier tonight. And like, I don't know what that's about. Um, we, we can talk about that off camera though, but, um, yeah, it's, I don't know. Is this is there is is there something in the coffee? What the hell's going on? <laughs> you know, it's like, There's got to be something in something. <laughs> oh man. Well, but, uh, if, I can, if I could chime in with what I think might be some some words of wisdom. Yeah, uh, please. We see these situations all the time, and mm -hmm. uh, I think we we live in an era that is very very strange, but it's it's. It doesn't need to be. It shouldn't be. Okay. Um, everyone's got an opinion about this, that, and the other mm -hmm. uh, without stopping to think if they actually know what they're talking about. You know, uh, you know when, you, when you're seeing these internet beefs, right? Everyone's got their opinion, but do you even know the people that are involved? You know, you hear the rumors, you hear, you know, what one set, one person says, what another person says, and we tend to, 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 to get, uh, tribalistic, you know, and, and for whatever our, our personal, uh, um, you know, affirmations are, you know, choose one side or the other. And it's like, you don't know what you're talking about, you know, and if you don't know what you're talking about, you really ought to not say anything, Right. And mm -hmm. even if you do know, even if you are one of the parties involved, discretion is still the better part of valor. All the rules of society and and uh, etiquette and protocol still should be applied on the Internet. And uh, unfortunately, we seem to have lost all of that. Um, I, I think that we, uh, we also do a great deal of projecting. You know, like I said, you identify with someone because of who they are, what gender they are, what political affiliation they are. Uh, you have something in common with them. Do you know them? Because you might be siding with someone who's not as good as you think, uh, who might actually be lying, you know, um, and you don't know. 
Um, it's it's just it's just ridiculous. And 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 so I was talking about uh, before we went on uh, some some uh, some uh, uh, YouTubers or whatever streamers, vloggers, whatever you want to call it, that that are having some beefs. And it's like I I I don't really know either of you that well. I don't care. I don't care what your problem is. And you know, I've I've had both of you on my channels. That's fine. Until I have a problem with you, I don't want to know about what your problem is with someone else. You know. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna come to me and say you shouldn't be associating with that person, you're the first person I'm gonna block. You don't put ultimatums on me. You know, my mother tried doing that when when I met Netter, and it was ten years before I talked to my mother again. So don't, don't come at me thinking you have uh, uh, some ability to influence who I associate with, you know? Mm -hmm. Hmm. But uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Johnny dangerously just popped into my head for a minute. My mother hung me once. You shouldn't want me. My mother shot Johnny. me once. 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 <laughs> once. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. That's got to be a rewatch at some point. <laughs> it's yeah, an 88 right. Magnum. Shoots through schools. School. This thing shoots through schools. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. Anyhow, I'm sorry. I derailed us. You were, you were <laughs> finish up. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I pretty much said my piece. I was just saying, you know, uh, I guess the, the, the long and short of what I was getting at, if I was to sum it all up, is people really need to stay in their lane for Mm -hmm. yeah no. yeah it's when you're when you're on social media and you have this degree of anonymity it's it's easier to like let the let the butt head out because not that many people know who you quote unquote really are so you, <laughs> <it's>, yep <laughs> <laughs> you nut <sighs> who what what me? <laughs> no, no, no. Delete just that. turned his camera on for a second. Oh, I missed it. I'm derailing my own program. Yes, number you two. are. <laughs> oh, he's showing who he really is. Okay, I get it. No, I just do it because I, I, I just, right. I don't, I don't show myself because I'm just sparing everybody that vision. But, uh, <laughs> um, but you know, I, I, I really think that's that's part of what it is. You know. It's, and you get a lot of people with a lot of mouth, but you know, in the old days, you would be doing it to their face, and it's it's a lot of it's a different world when you go at somebody face to face than you know if you're two thousand miles away and you're just doing it doing it in front of a computer screen. True. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the reason I went off on my, on my rant tonight was the whole, um, um, Ed Pisker situation, you know, and how I felt that, you know, this guy was judged in, in this public forum, you know, before, and people were already calling him guilty when he hasn't been charged with anything. You know? And um, this guy being hounded into self-deleting. And I'm like, this is not us. Or have I been getting this whole YouTube thing wrong the whole time? You know, um, because I'm like, folks, your your drama's got a body count now, and this is not the road that we want to go down. Now, this isn't. You now, my whole thing was not like. I don't know if this guy did what he was accused of. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is is cancel culture is you know 
deeming someone guilty before they've even been charged with anything. You know, it's like uh, innocent until proven guilty. What happened to that? And that was my point. You know, I think there's another element here that I, I haven't heard too many people talk about in regards to this. Apparently, mm -hmm. uh, the the interview at his, what was it, his parents' house or something like that, and releasing the interview, they don't blur out the address. And I'm seeing mm -hmm. way too much of that mm -hmm. from, from media these days. Uh, I talked on my channel about the the um the documentary that disney did with um uh discovery i think it was uh mm -hmm. talking about uh, uh the 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 pull out of afghan uh, afghanistan and showing the images of of um our troops and the uh the afghani allies that that helped us that subsequently got tortured and killed because their mm -hmm. faces were shown and they were able to be identified. Um, this is a huge problem. And there was a time when we expected our media to have some kind of minimum integrity. And that seems to have gone completely out the window too. You know, don't, don't come at the masses in, um, uh, the interwebs talking about doxing when the mainstream media is doxing people and in very, very deadly ways. Yeah. The same, the same, um, you know, uh, ideologues and <laughs> Media personalities who think who the heck they are have no moral high ground to stand on. Yeah. As they're they're pointing out, you know, the 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 ists and the phobes and they're the, you know, uh, uh talking about things like comics gate and this and that and the other. You guys are as bad or worse. You don't even have a right to come in here and judge us. Well, I, you know, and, and I know that there are, you know, some people who, you know, are kind of innocent bystanders and in some of these arguments that are going on. Um, I'm just annoyed because my, uh, <laughs> you know, my notifications keep going off every, every few minutes, but, uh, you know, and, and Troy even said it yourself. You know, you had somebody who tried to drag you into one of these beefs yeah. today. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's like, you know, it, just don't drag other people. You, you want to go beefing with somebody, that's fine. Just don't go dragging other people mm -hmm. into it. I mean, that, that's really all that I ask, you know, um, as far as that's concerned. You know, the. You know, there is this level of oh, what's 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 the word I'm looking for? Um, we've gotten very crude. True. As in general, as a culture, and I'm a party to that too. I am not omitting myself, you know, in that. But you know. And maybe it's just because I'm getting older. I start to think, you know, slow it down, man. <laughs> you, don't, you, you, you don't need all that. You know. Um, you know, and like I said tonight, you know, it's just in the end, do unto others as you would have done unto you. You know, just. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good philosophy. Um, now, 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 when it comes to this whole comics gate thing, you know, and, um, 
I've I've had people try to explain this to me before because the the, the whole first go around of Comics Gate happened before I I came on the scene. So, you know. Um, yeah, that's like a feud that's been going on for years. Yeah, and now yeah. now I'm kind of I'm starting to get an idea of what that was like, and, and I I don't like what I, what I'm seeing. Um, and you have the whole Gamergate thing too, you know. And, and the point is, is um, with with me, I'm more of a I was more of a film and television guy more than I ever was comics or or, or gaming, even though I'm, I I have no problem with those two, you know. Uh, but you know, I I am seeing all of these industries, Hollywood, the gaming industry, comic book industry, and it's just like they've decided to just burn themselves down. Are, are you just allergic to money? This is simple. Walt Disney got it right. Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, they got it right. Now you want to burn down everything that they built. For who? For an audience that is not there. I mean, this is criminal malfeasance at this point. This is criminal negligence, as far as I'm concerned. Well, you're not you know, the only one. Apparently, uh, a lot of uh, shareholders are starting to bring the, uh, the DEI-related um, lawsuits, as I said, would eventually start happening. So... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think your your legal analysis on this one, counselor, is pretty much spot on. I'm getting to the age where I understand to get off my lawn, guy. Yeah, exactly. um, I, uh, I'm a, <laughs> I'm also a little older, and every time I hear DEI, what uh, from my my old NASCAR days, I always think of Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. Yeah. So I wish they'd have picked another <laughs> set of letters. Well, what we should be saying is D-I-E, because it's killing whatever. Yeah, it's killing everything it touches. It. Uh, and, and, rem and remember, you, you say this as though, you know, the the, the, the predominant shareholders uh, are, you know, pushing this and whatnot. And the only time they would have done that is when they thought there was profit to be made. But unfortunately, by the time they let that cancer into their company, it's a little too late. They've ended up hiring uh, a bunch of know-nothings that don't care about the company. They just want to push you know, their own agendas. Uh, they get paid the same either way. And you know, they'll just, you know, you fire them, they'll just go to another company. No problem. You got to be careful. Who do you trust, you know, with the keys to your business is what it comes down to. That's what we've been looking at with these entertainment industries. And it's 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 true all all across the board. TV, movies, games, comic books, everything. All right. Well, uh, let, let's um, uh, move on to some news that's uh, a little more fun. And uh, and uh, I want to get to Al because I don't know uh, how, how much longer we're going to have him for. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here like going, oh, God, stay with it, stay with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, First off, um, thank you once again um, for uh, 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 having me on Films with Friends uh, the other night. Uh, it was oh, a fun one. My, and uh, last night, yeah. And, my um, pleasure. Always, always welcome. Indeed. And, um, and we're going to be there again the uh, uh, end of the week on Friday at mm -hmm. uh, 730 
Seven thirty. Yeah. Seven thirty. I picked that. Uh, I'm giving uh, soundtracks with Birdman uh, an option. That's that's usually like the earliest he can get there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I try to give him a window in case yeah. he might want to show up. Yeah. Uh, not not very certain right now. He's having he's having um uh, a uh, sick dog issue, mm-hmm. uh, which uh, he's kind of day to day. Not sure how that's going to progress, but uh, the invitation's open. So, uh, but yeah, um, looking forward to one. We'll try to do more uh, of the the Fridays before Netters rewatch mm. to do like the every other Friday thing. Maybe uh, if if the if the stars are aligned and, and everything, uh, you know, just do do something that's like a last minute idea uh because i have the saturday night films with friends for me are scheduled to for the rest of the year so this is a way of like those little like oh i just saw about this let's watch this kind of uh idea just like you uh your hunter from the future which is what we're going to be watching on uh on friday and i'm sure we're going to have a lot to say about it <laughs> oh yeah i'm 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 definitely looking forward to it. And, the great uh, red brown. <laughs> or indeed. You know, and, and, and speaking of, you know, celebrities, he's one of the guys who really does respect his fans. Yeah, I got I started um, following him and uh yeah. he, he's he's very engaging, very um he is. very appreciative. Yes. And, and you've gotta like that about a star. I mean, if if you are a celebrity the last thing you need to be is uh, ungracious towards them, hmm. because that that right there that'll you know, and I, I will give it to him. You, it's hard to be on all the time, uh, but I've always said you know when you're a celebrity, you're you're going through your life doing whatever. But if you meet that that star, they, I mean if you meet you're that that fan, you've got those five to ten seconds will make will make or break what they think about you for the rest of your career. Sometimes, because uh, in my case, Jason Momoa, mm-hmm. I still I still have a still have a um, chip on my shoulder about him, but. Uh, uh, but yeah, when you when you get someone like like a Red Brown who is just who's who's just seems to be very friendly with his fans, it's always so nice. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, folks, Friday at uh, seven thirty, films with friends on Al's channel. Your Hunter from the Future. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. So, it was that or the Barbarians. We'll do the Barbarians. It was that eventually. We'll- We'll get to I, it. Yeah. But I mean, just your and yours has been like in the back of my head for about a year now. And I was like, God, I've been wanting to watch it again. And but I've been wanting to watch it online, like with others. Because mm. you, you know, there are some films you could watch by yourself and it's that's fine, you know, and you can have a good time. But f- watching it with friends will make even the worst movie much more tolerable. And even enjoyable. <laughs> uh, so speaking of which, you know, um, uh, one of the video series that I do my best not to miss uh, is, of course, your 10-word review. Oh, thank you. And uh, I kind of wanted to pick your brain on a few um, a few of the movies you've seen. Do you have a review out now for a movie called... Uh, uh, Monster Mash, which you you yep. actually brought to um, uh, to my attention. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe give everybody a quick non spoilery synopsis of uh, of that one. Uh, well, uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a film from the Asylum. If uh, anybody who knows uh, them, they they do the best they do the best they can with as little money as they can. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, 
they they have a new film called Monster Mash starring uh, Michael Madsen, who uh, he, he's ha- he's had some he's had some issues uh, in in Hollywood sometimes, but I've always found him to be a very good actor. He plays Victor Frankenstein, and he has his monster kidnap the the very lovely daughter of Dracula uh, for some reason. And uh, Dra- Dracula finds this out, doesn't know, well, doesn't know who's who has done it until some investigation. But he gets help from the Invisible Man, uh, the Mummy, uh, and um, the Wolf Man, and they Did track they it? <laughs> and they and they track him. Uh, they track down who is behind all these attacks because they've all been attacked by the monster and um uh, because frankenstein is getting pieces of each of them he, he's got the mummy's heart i don't want to get into too much but uh mm-hmm. you know but but yeah victor's victor is up to something uh because of reasons and uh but they finally track him down and then there's the big final climax mm. and uh, i i like i like the movie uh I, I, but I, I wish it had had a better musical score. Something like a, it just, I, I think it needed something with a little bit more pomp. I, I used the joke, it needed a more lively tune, which would be funny because it's with the undead characters, but, uh, that's what it is. I, th- I think people who like the, who like the asylum films, the low budget stuff? I think they'll have a fun time with it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but it is definitely. I, I was I was surprised. The story's good. The uh, I, I like the I like the versions of the monsters that they did. You have to be careful when you're doing Universal monsters because of trademark. Uh, they mm-hmm. have a trademark on a lot of the looks, but uh, they you know they're they're generally they give a lot of leeway. They're not like they're not like Lucasfilm. <laughs> Damn. That looks well, too much. Like, he's wearing a white jacket, just like Luke Skywalker did in 1977. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> well, I know. Um, I I sent you the link to another uh, asylum film, Planet Quake. Yeah, I haven't had a chance uh, to that one yet. Yeah, and then I when I didn't hear back from you for a few days on it, and I'm like. Oh no, he saw it. Now he's mad at me. <laughs> no, I uh, did. I did I say it? I'm not. Um, I'll have to double check to make sure. To like, I, I get a lot of things. Kind of uh, when I when I go when I go um, pirating, as it were. Uh, when, <laughs> when, when I when I when I go sailing, let's put it that way. And, and I I get yeah I I get a lot in there because I'm not not only do I get the newer what i can newer wise even if it's like the cam mm-hmm. stuff but even like i'll say oh that's an old one i'll look at that i want i want to see that one again eventually so i get this like long list and sometimes things just get lost i've had um the green knight in my queue for the longest time and i've not gotten around to see it uh and i've been wanting to watch that's why i think dev patel's in it okay mm-hmm. But I love I love medieval, uh, the Middle Ages, the medieval films, or uh, you know anything with a fantasy element to it like that. And I, 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 if anybody remembers, we did um, the sword, no, not sword the sorcerer, sword, uh, sword, sword, sword of the valiant, valiant. sword yeah. of the valiant, with uh, which was kind of another take on going to the Green Knight, so. That's always fun. But I still have to get around to that. Planet Quake, I have to keep reminding me about that until I actually get around to okay. doing it. It's like, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what your opinion on that one would be. Um, you're, you're, probably, you're, you're probably still going <laughs> to... Yeah, I, I, I swear, some yeah. of them are really funny. I, yeah. I, love, I, I love it when they're like, 
when you find them in a submarine and you just know that they're just in a room with yeah like, they set up panels and like nothing would be anything like that on a sub uh, it's like you've got plenty of room and <laughs> and things, it's just, it's it's funny when you yeah when you it's, see it's, see stuff like that. It's the thing that everybody has to understand about uh, asylum films, and some of them are, are better than others. I'll be honest. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, is that nothing in the movie is ever going to be as cool as what's on the cover? <laughs> oh, I know they have some great and. Oh. And Planet Quake has a fantastic cover. It's also complete bullshit because there's nothing like that in the movie. <laughs> you know? Because you, you can you can tell that they they kind of they, they filmed it under the COVID restrictions and everything because you know there's like a lot of scenes where there's only like two or three people, you know, and they're like it, you know standing in these kind of awkward places away from each other and yeah you know talk talking to people who are just like voices off screen and this is just a lot of that and, uh, I mean, um, and, and they have i mean they've had their hits like sharknado that's an asylum mm -hmm. uh oh but God. you know they, they also they they have their like really bad ones like um uh oh i let me i gotta look at a list here oh like atlantic rim <laughs> they're trying to do their version of Pacific Rim, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> and it really that one went that one went askew. Uh, just just some really, I mean, they've done they've done H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, which uh, mm -hmm. snakes on a train, of course, yeah, you know, so, uh, Titanic two, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Titanic two, the revenge, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they have, they have their um, they they definitely are hitting this. They have, they have, they have like what three hundred films, five hundred films. They have got it by now. now, yeah, yeah. I mean, because they crank them out. <laughs> so, Bill, uh, Planet Quake sounds AI written. Um, yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, did, did AI just invent this name, or was it like somebody out of the great or something? Yeah, well, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at a list here, and I'm just seeing some of their because they they do are they like I said they they do a lot that's based on other films. Like uh, if anybody remember is Moonfall. Anybody catch that? I, really I didn't right. yeah. Moonfall. Yeah, yeah, it's it's called Moonfall. Yeah. It, it was yeah, it was, it was I a major tried release. to watch that atrocious film. <laughs> yeah, but I mean it was so bad, but even Asylum's yeah. like, I bet we could do it worse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> With Meteor Moon, you know, so Meteor you know, Moon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta find that. <laughs> yeah, Ape versus Monster, which was kind yeah. of like, I saw that, that was pretty bad. Well, um, it was like earlier in the year, I was excited to s after seeing the trailer for I ISS the movie, and I watched it, and it's like, oh god, that was just awful. <laughs> I actually liked that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, uh, comparatively to what I thought it was going to be, I was like, you know, that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> but it, you know, actually. Uh, you know, um, has anyone seen the astronaut with um, the astronaut Adam good. Sandler? That was oh, not the, oh, no, not, the, oh. the space. I was man. thinking about space man. Yeah, Mar one. yeah sorry, yeah. space man. With Adam, yeah, Adam Sandler. Has anybody seen that? Hmm. Not yet. No, no, I didn't know about this. I kind of like that, and, and I was. I mean, it's weird. Yeah. But I kind of, I kind of like that. And, he, uh, he's he's supposed to be like a Hungarian or something in it. Or uh, is he Polish he, or something. Czechoslovakian. Oh, something like that. Yeah, he's he's a cosmonaut. Yeah, yeah, and um, but he comes across a an alien spider. 
<laughs> thing. And, but it's like, I'm like, this is actually kind of cool. Once you get, once you accept what's going on, it's actually very profound, a lot of it. Yeah, I know another um, uh, alien spider movie that's coming out here uh, in the next week uh, is a movie called Sting. And uh, yeah, I think I heard I, you, you saw that. Yeah, right? I saw that, and uh, that was one of the that was the last um, uh, mystery movie night movie, and um, and the thing about it is. Okay, giant alien spider gets loose in this, you know, New York apartment building where they can't get out because they're snowed in. Oh, okay. okay, that's a good premise. Why not? Yeah. You know, and uh, there are people who love it. And then I saw it and I was just like, N no nothing's happening. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, you know yeah. That, um, that that is the beauty of it. Um, I I when I watch I watch a film and I'm like I wonder what I almost feel guilty about liking some things. Mm -hmm. uh, I I mean you know full full um, confession here. I did not think Madame Web was as bad as everyone thought it was. It wasn't great by any means but you hear so much negativity and you're like I'm watching I'm like I'm not hating it <laughs> so I like you know sometimes I'll say you know your mileage may vary you know, everybody's yeah. everybody's different you, you know. no that's perfectly fine you know you, you I mean even in the movies I don't like, I always find a little something in there to, oh, yeah, to, yeah. to kind of latch on to. Um, you know, Madam Webb, Adam Scott's good. Oh, yeah, I love his. You know, I love his. Uh, ben um, Parker. Although they uh, can't say he, he, he is, he might be Ben Parker. Um, maybe. Who's your. <sighs> You know what? What? What's your nephew's name going to be? Uh, yeah, they played that game. Mm, you know. Oh, oh you're, like you're, you're dating someone. What's her name? Just. <laughs> 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 but yeah, he was to me. Yeah, he was yeah. the best part. He was the best part. I'm uh, just of the whole film because well, I like Adam Scott anyway. So. Yeah, I'm. I'm just laughing at the fact that you know they're doing essentially this. Spider-Man spinoff movie, and they can't mention Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's stupid. I mean, um, I, I I mean, I literally think sometimes it's like, are they making a movie just so that guy can make fun of it in his pitch meeting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, because, I love those videos. They do make it easy on him, don't they? Oh yeah. I love His material kind of writes itself. Fairly an inconvenience. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it keeps pressing it on him. That's, what, that's pretty funny. Hey, but, that's the guy who was in the movie that made us all that money that one year. You know? <laughs> yeah, they actually uh, had him in the, uh, I think it was the Madam Web, How It Should Have Ended. They actually had him in there, like the cartoon version of him doing it. Oh, oh nice! <laughs> it was pretty funny. So oh, if you get a chance I'll have to, to watch, watch it, that, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, I, 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 I do, and I, I, um, I used to do the long drawn out reviews, and I just, it's just so hard to do it with any consistency. <laughs> That's why I came up with 10 words. Like, if I do it in 10 words, I'll get it done. Do 10 words, I rate it, and then I do a little ramble at the end. And, you know, I'm out I'm out in, like, less than two and a half minutes, usually. Mm -hmm. 
indeed. Um, I mean, sometimes you give yourself some because I I tend to be a little long winded anyway. Yeah. And, uh, a, when you get well, like me and, and and since cornered together because we just like talking about movies anyway, and yeah. we can just like like our sting review is almost as long as the movie. <laughs> and I swear, like half that video, we're not even talking about the movie. We're just yeah. going off on our own. <laughs> My, yeah, when I when I first start, when I first came up with the idea, um, I well, I, I originally I thought of twenty words. And I was like, nah, I was like, well, let's see if I can out. And I think ten. Let's do ten. And I I did it, and I was like, okay, yeah, I can, I can do it. It's going to be just this thing. And the idea was basically. And this happened to me all the time because of the town I live in. I'm coming out of a film and I pass a friend who's waiting in line for the next showing. And they go, how was it? Oh, yeah. And it's like, what would I say as I'm walking past them? Like 10 words or less. And that's, that's kind of the concept I have in my brain. Although I do a little more thinking than that, but, uh, it, it, it's that kind of thing, but uh, I I usually will sort you know do a little that little extra after I get after I give the rating just to do some clarification. But the official rating, uh, the official review, are the ten words. That's what I would put on you know put on the blurb. <laughs> well, I know. Um... I had a similar thing happening when I was walking out of uh, Rise of Skywalker. And <laughs> there was this girl and her mother sitting there, and she's like, uh, uh, how was it? And I went, they blew it. It's Twilight. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean everybody really everybody fo everybody <laughs> focuses on Last Jedi, but man. Rise of Skywalker was the dumpster fire. It's yeah. worse. It is it so much worse. Terrible. I'm Ray Skywalker. No, no, I'm not even talking. I'm, like, I'm talking like editing. Um, just like the sudden last minute plot points that they're putting in the whole emperor. It just was. T it just. They had no clue what they were doing when they did this. The movies. dumbest line in that movie. They fly now. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's like, now. wow. Obviously, you haven't seen like all the comics There's and other things no going around. No place. No place in a Star Wars film that dialogue. Like, hmm. It's Star Wars, and you say that. I mean, Lucas is not known for his dialogue, but at least he never wrote anything out of terms. <laughs> Except Misa. It's like, Misa, uh, all the uses of Misa's. <laughs> from... uh, it's just, it's just, a, just amazing how you can make Jar Jar look better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a, it's like, wow, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Connie. Take it easy. And Kronos had to leave us too. So uh good night, Kronos. We're still listening. Yeah. All right. Um I always have Kronos spaded neutered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like a law. So she says, honestly, I love watching the comments on these bad movies or series. Uh, there was a guy complaining about the pacing of that guy on a review. One comment was, of course, the pacing is off. She's only got one leg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I haven't gotten around to watch an Echo. I wonder if it's worth it. I, I'm not going Well, I mean, it. for me. I mean, if it's worth it for well, me. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I, I, I have a much higher pain tolerance, if you know, kind of, you could say. Well, and, and plus, I don't think... Uh, well, I can't say it about the the Marvel s stuff, but Star Wars, I still say the only things they screwed up was the sequel series. <laughs> Everything else has been okay at worst. Awesome at best. Yeah. Um, you know, um, uh, Book of Boba Fett I thought was okay. 
Um, yeah, I, I mean, I like it. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I um, mean, it, it did have issues, yes. But I still enjoyed it. I was looking forward to every, uh, every new episode. So yeah. uh, what, because what when, that says about me, oh, well, that's what yeah. it says. When um, I was on the, the review round table, that was that was the Blue Milk stream that I was on with Troy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went into that show worried everybody was going to think I was the black pill. And I, I came on and said, you know, there, there's actually parts of it that aren't bad. <laughs> you know? um, and then and then it turns into, you know, Mandalorian season 2.5 halfway through. And then it's okay. yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, I kind of enjoyed that. So, yeah. I don't, but I, I get why it was an issue, but I, yeah. I personally do not hate that. Yeah. I just, I just thought it would have been a better, it would have been a better movie because they really had, Probably, yeah. they really had the chance. If they had pared it down to movie length, doing something along the lines of a man called horse for the first half of the movie. Then when what happens to, you know, the tribe that's taken him in happens and he, he goes back to this, this criminal underworld to track down the people responsible then okay now you're going into john wick meets unforgiven territory yeah and, you know and if they had just stuck to that and made it like a two in a quarter hour movie that would have been great this. but imagine yeah. if they made that movie with the budget that they wasted on a whole season of that mm show i mean that's that's again the thing they are they are taking what would be decent movies stretching them out padding them for their streaming service and they are missing out on all the revenue that they would have gotten releasing it in the theaters see Mm -hmm. the whole business model is bass backwards i and i and this is objective regardless of what i think about the series right you 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 trim it down tell a good story with great special effects get it out of the theaters make a profit then put out dvds make a profit on that put out all your action figures make out a profit on that then you put it on your streaming service and you know if you if you filmed uh, enough to to make it a mini series, uh, all those deleted scenes you could turn it into a mini series when you put it on the streaming service, and you could say, hey, you know, you enjoyed it so much when you saw it at the theaters. Now see the full thing, you know. But I don't trust them to 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 do that skillfully. Well, no, because. And I, th- I think you mentioned the main word there, Troy. Trust. They, they are they are losing they are losing the fans' trust. Oh, they've completely lost the fans' I, trust. I don't think completely, but um, I it, it's definitely waned big time. Because mm-hmm. I still I still trust. It's like I know you. They can do it. Yeah. This is a matter. It's like, is this is this going to be good or is it going to be bad? Because I mean, for every book of Boba Fett, as, as, you know, or Ahsoka, there was Andor, which I thought was stellar. So yeah. I know, I know it's, I, I know it's it in them. It's just a matter as if they do it. From hmm. what I've heard about Andor, regardless of it as a Star Wars piece, I have heard is an excellent treatment of uh the the forming of a rebellion Mm -hmm. you know um and and i think you know what that's that's good star wars that very concept yep 
Uh, I think I think what the, the 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 biggest downside to it is you're focusing around a character who we know has no future. We already know where he goes. You know, the, I I hate prequels. I really have a distinct problem with prequels. You know. There, there are no stakes because you know what ultimately happens. Yeah, well, I mean, you're going to run into that every now and then. I mean, Titanic. I mean, you know what happens. The only, other, the only other uh, thing you could possibly do is screw up your already established canon. You know, we, we definitely saw that with Obi-Wan. You know? Mm-hmm. Don't do prequels. Unless you're really, really, really willing to put in the effort to get it right. And nobody seems to be willing to do that in uh, in the entertainment industry anymore. Huh. All right, well, um, let, let's move on. There was, there was another um, movie that you... Um, uh, reviewed recently out and I, I keep blanking on the name of it and it was okay. it, you you said it was um kind of friday the 13th esque it was, it was camp something or other oh uh, um, i'm blanking on the title i always blank on the title um i know you said michael Perret was in it and he's in Planet Quake as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Camp Pleasant Lake. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that that was uh, that was weird. <laughs> well, I that's got a, re- a very recent one. That's just this past year. Yeah, but was yeah. was it an asylum film as well, or I I don't know. Was it an huh. asylum? I don't think I, I I'm not I don't think it was. There's a lot of companies out there that are doing this little hmm. thing things. Yeah, um yeah, I I had to refresh my memory on it here to read my promising slasher concept squandered amid bad acting and meandering uh storytelling. Hmm. Yeah, it just it was just all over the place and just <laughs> It's it's like, hey guys, let's make a movie. Hey, okay, you play this part and uh, just make up some lines. That's all right. Okay, thanks. But the <laughs> the overall concept was a cool idea. Uh, which uh, let me see if I remember right. There was a there was a girl that was killed at camp like ten years ago, and there. Uh, and this couple bought the, had purchased the camp to put on a, a kind of a audience participation reenactment uh, um, play kind of thing around it. So they get to watch all the, all you know, as it as it happened but it it, it, it was it just was weird i it just it hmm. I, I saw it coming i saw what what it was coming a mile away or even actually farther out and uh hello to uh, gary ambrosia thank you for joining us uh and saying hello to uh, everybody but uh right. you know um, i don't regret watching it i mean you know it's uh, had Michael Perret in it. That was kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I just, always like anything he's in. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of weird where he pops up sometimes. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like like when he when he when he shows up in Planet Quake and I'm just like Yeah, he uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what, uh, who, um uh um Eric Roberts. Well, I was like, so he's yeah. like well, he started oh, yeah. appearing in all these really bad movies. I'm like, should yeah. we be worried about Eric Roberts? Yeah, we need to go fund me for him because man, he is doing some bad stuff. Because he, he <laughs> well, there was there was there was a, a movie that 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 Eric Roberts is in where he's like basically edited into the movie 
they just like uh it was supposed to be like footage for another movie oh my gosh that oh. never got that never got finished for whatever reason so they just took his scenes and put them into this other movie <laughs> i i love it i love it yeah. when uh Oh god! It's something. I mean, sometimes on bad movies, I don't know if it was the asylum, but um, the 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 ones who did Cocaine Shark, <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine Shark. Oh my gosh! And there is no cocaine in the <laughs> shark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like really weird. And then really? there's. And of course, there's Meth Gator, which I actually <laughs> thought was really fun. <laughs> our our future is definitely becoming a world of idiocracy. I was yes. just thinking that too. Exactly. We are on our way. <laughs> I mean, our devices are really dumbing us down, and so are the films yep. coming out. Yeah. Well, there might there might be a couple of. Um... It was eight you know, minutes of ass. Nothing but ass. <laughs> well, there might be a couple of uh, bright spots on the horizon here. Um, I recently saw Late Night with the Devil. And, yeah, I've been, uh, to, I've been wanting to see that. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It really, really is. Um, It's uh, like a ho- it's a Halloween 1977 and uh, about this uh, talk show host who's um, trying to pick his ratings up a little bit because he's up against Carson uh, and uh, it, basically does this uh, Halloween show where he like okay let's do a live exorcism on the air you know oh, and, uh, that's always a good idea yeah <laughs> but it that's uh, uh, that. Dave, what's his name? David Des that, David Desmalchian. Yeah. Desmalchian, yeah. <laughs> wow, what a name. Yeah. But uh yeah, I, I like him. I like him. Yeah, he's really good in this. Yeah. yeah. It's like his first I didn't realize that till they said it's like his first lead. Yeah, I in mean everything. he's at least yeah. the supporting guy. Yeah, yeah, some people make a career out of being the supporting and good on him. Yeah. Another one that looked really interesting to me that I, I don't know if anybody here has seen the uh, the trailer for is a movie called In a Violent Nature. Hmm. I don't think so. Sounds familiar, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Um, it's it's another Shudder film. Shudder's uh, good. The, you say that, I'm good. definitely interested. Yeah. yeah. And um, Have you seen the film... Evil lurks here or something. Oh, when evil lurks. Yeah. Oh, curious. that was another good one. Yeah, that that was it. That was really. It's very good, but it's very messed up. <laughs> I heard there was a scene that the movie that went there and it shouldn't went there. Oh, there are a few. <laughs> <laughs> because that um. And, and and good night, uh, Gary. Take care. Um, yeah, good night, Gary. You know because once the uh, the fit hits the shan in that movie, um, nobody is safe. What's it called though? Uh, when evil lurks. When evil lurks. Yes, yeah. and it, it is. I I think it is either on Amazon or on Shutter by now. So uh, it's on Shutter. You can it's on Shutter. Shutter. If you got uh, AMC Plus, yeah. 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 Ooh, okay. Arge- oh, Argentina. Uh, Argentinian film. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was very well done, um, but in in a violent nature looks really interesting because, you know, y- y- you had brought up with the uh, the Camp Pleasant Lake movie that it would it, it kind of reminded you in places of Friday the Thirteenth. In a violent nature is really much closer because it's essentially a Friday the Thirteenth movie, but from the point of view of Jason. 
And I think that well, wow, that's kind of an interesting because you're kind of seeing what happens between the kills. Yeah. And I went, that's an interesting concept. Nobody's really done that before. Well, so I'm, 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 I'm looking gonna, forward to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna push back. There there's one other film that I've seen that's like that. It's a movie called Behind the Mask. Mm-hmm. And it's the idea of a a another kind of you know serial killer that uh, is being interviewed by a documentary uh, team, and they're going along with him as he's doing his kills. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the 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 conceit of the, the the film is that it's like Jason and Freddy and all of them uh, were real. Uh, maybe their supernatural nature was a bit exaggerated, you know. And uh, it's a very, very interesting, almost a dark comedy. Almost a dark comedy. Uh, talking about following uh, a serial killer, have you ever seen uh, the two films in the Creep series? No, not yet. Not it's, yet. Called, it's called Creep and then Creep. there's Creep yeah. 2. Right. Uh, very, very interesting. It's a, uh, it's about a serial killer who, you know, for uh, yeah, it, it's it's kind of a. I don't want to say it's found footage, but it's like a filmed, yeah, like perspective. Well, he, he, he he has a, a a documentary crew following him around as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's there's a French movie called um, from back in the '90s called Man Bites Dog that does the uh, same thing, basically. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's that. So you know, there are a couple of um, Hor- and there are a couple in the horror genre that seem like they might be um, worth seeing. I I definitely want to see in a violent nature when that comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, Late Night with the Devil is going to be on the sh- on Shutter in a couple of weeks. If you haven't seen it in theaters, watch it on Shutter, please. It's a good one. Um, so I saw Immaculate. Ah, what were your thoughts on that one? Um, it was kind of, uh, kind of a mixed bag. Um, uh, I, I fell right in the middle of it, but I will say Sydney Sweeney at the very end of it, mm-hmm. she hits a, she taps into something and, and there's just absolute terror, fear, pain. It was such a great performance. I mean, everything else, it was, it's, it's your kind of. I've seen it before elements mm-hmm. to it like all the elements it's, there was nothing new there but she's good in it but I think you know but uh, otherwise it's just kind of been there done that <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, here, my, my review is like Sweeney impresses and shockingly dark ending otherwise standard religious horror mm. that's basically yeah, that's what. That's probably the main reason why I still want to see it. Is, is yeah. see she's, what, what the big deal is about this ending? <laughs> yeah, I thought I I just was still watching it. I'm like, oh my lord. Yeah, I mean, because, and it's nothing. It's nothing like this grandiose thing. It's a. It's pure. What she's putting into it, what she's giving. Mm. Because you know, I've heard that it, it is the ending that kind of will make or break the movie for most people. Right, right. So, I, I, it it did yeah. save it for me as far as if, if someone says, "Should I see it?" I'm like, I, I would give it a go. If you're a horror fan, give it a go. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, if you're a casual horror fan, maybe not. But hmm. uh, definitely, she. Yeah, I like. Well, I like Sydney Sweeney anyway because I really love. Uh, I mean, I, have, I think I've watched her uh, "Anyone But You" about like five times already. Wow. I love, I love that movie. Yeah, I've heard that was a fun one. Yeah, it's a, it's a simple, it's a good, old fashioned rom com, uh, kind of naughty, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But the, the two leads, it's, that's some of the best chemistry between two leads I have ever seen. Uh, her and Glenn Powell. Uh, Be- Glenn-, Glenn Powell? Glenn Powell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They they really, did it. And, and the whole cast, just they seemed like they were having fun doing it. That was beautifully shot. I might have to go back and re- redo my review on it because I think I gave it three and a half. I, I think I've fallen in love with it even more since then. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one thing I, I catch myself. And one of the reasons why I stopped doing star ratings during my, my reviews, because I feel like if I say it, it it'll, be, it'll be like set in stone in some fashion. But then again, yeah, I'll, I know I'll, what you mean. I'll think about the movie later on and then i might want to change i might want to change the rating like a half a star up or down you know <laughs> so it's just like I, okay i don't I, do star ratings anymore you know it's it's funny you say because i was actually thinking it's like maybe i should just go to a thumbs up thumbs down system hmm. like it yeah. or not like just it or pure, do, yeah exactly pure and simple binary zero or one <laughs> You know, see it or not, uh, I, like it would take a lot of nuance away, though. Like you know, but uh, hmm. ultimately it would be I, you know, the, the, the ten words. It's like, do you see it up or down? And it could go, like I said, you, you might not even know. But the ten words might be totally negative, but ultimately it could be a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, despite everything, it's a thumbs up. That's you know, I just I started the star system, but start, you know. I started doing it that way just because mm-hmm. it's so almost universal. <laughs> yeah, and we've talked about this in the past, your, your rating system and how, how I kind your, of, uh, your, your system and mine kind of are not much different from one another, really. Yeah, um, I, I have a big swath of... Uh, Basically, two to two and a half star, mm-hmm. I could almost recommend it. Two and a half, I would almost say, it's fine. Go see it. Mm-hmm. Um, be like, you know, be like a passing grade. So, yeah, it's really got to be bad to get anything lower than a, like a two. There's got to be some really major issues going on. But uh, once I get to like the three, once I hit three, three and a half, it's a very minute differences going on. Uh, three and a half, three and a half is a is a great great film to me. But you hit five star, and that's just something that transcends in my own head. Uh, I did a five star the other day for the uh, the documentary that's on Peacock about Bray Wyatt. Uh, I just I, it, it just hit everything for me. I was like it was a uh, a person I admired, uh, interesting, uh, just all the things I didn't know, oh, just were sort of fascinating about. It. It, it, I just, I just, uh, just really enjoyed it. All right. Well, uh, let's see uh, another. Um... <laughs> one that you saw recently that I wanted to go into because you brought this movie to my attention. I hadn't even heard of it was uh, Scoop, this uh, yep. Netflix film. Yeah, it's um, the um, new, uh, the BBC's uh, News Night. It's a news Night? Mm-hmm. Did, when they did an interview um, back in the seven years ago with Prince Andrew after the uh, <laughs> The death of Jeffrey Epstein, and uh, it's 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 basic. It's the the retelling of how they got the right to do that, and how they were able to convince him and his people to do that. And uh, good performances, but uh, I tell you, you've really got to want to, you've really got to be interested in the material because it, it could be kind of on the dry side. Hmm. But uh, I got to give, I got to give it to Rufus Sewell, who just, 
looks like uh, Prince Andrew. They did such a good job with him, and I thought I thought he done a he did a really excellent job. Of course, it's got um, Julian Anderson. It's got Billy Piper, who's really good, or Mella Garay, I think that, but or Monica or Mella, I forget what. Mm-hmm. But uh, some really, so some good British performers in there. It's weird calling Julian Anderson a British performer now. <laughs> she she has been she has been Britishized. Well, she was she was raised in England, no? I don't remember. I remember, remember reading that somewhere. But she always had the an English. I mean, she was always an American yeah. accent. But now she's like totally got the British accent going on. Yeah. All right. So definitely a few there to uh, to look out for in the future. And yeah, like so. Are you, well, you saw Arthur the King. So. I did. Yeah. That was yeah. That was, yeah. That's that a good movie. Yeah. yeah. I, I I enjoyed that. It was a couple. You think? I think. Uh, I think want to get the three stars. I think, but um, yeah, I like that. It was good. It was like solid, diverting film. <laughs> mm-hmm. And of course, if there's nothing new, sometimes I'll watch something I've never seen before. It's a little older, and I'll do a retro review on it. That's like, why not? <laughs> That's why I did Anaconda. <laughs> Yeah. I've never seen Anaconda. Let me watch it. Oh, this is terrible. Let me do a review about it. It wasn't terrible, but, uh, you know, it was fun bad. Yeah, he kind of um, uh, faked me out on the Monster Mash review because for some reason I read Mash first. <laughs> and I- Oh, he mashed. Okay, that interesting. You know, that's your, oh, monster, shit! I gotta read faster. <laughs> like I, yeah. I just put myself up on. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw, I, I saw a trailer for it like last week. I'm like, I really hope I see this. Uh, I really hope I find this. And it popped up, and I'm like, oh, there you go. I'm gonna watch it. Mm. And uh, like I said, yeah, I gave it two and a half, but I. It, I I liked it. I, you know, there was a lot. There was a lot of good, of good stuff there. I think. Yeah. Monster Mash. It's better than Ouija Shark. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what I'm to say. Yeah. I... I. I've I've got to see this Ouija Shark now. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, you uh, but, it's, a, you know, it's a thing that exists. It's, it's a movie. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And don't, for, don't forget the uh, Ouija Shark 2. It's a thing. <laughs> God. Like, I, I I remember when I, I brought up the bill when we were doing the 10 Worst show. And um, <laughs> yeah. we we both had um, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey on our list. Uh. <laughs> and... Uh, God, and Connie, so Connie brought up in the chat that that there was going to be the sequel, and I went, Bill's like, "What? Wait, what?" Yep. <laughs> I think, I think, I think we almost gave Bill a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> and now the a, Andy film coming. This is, this is not 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 only is there a sequel, but it's coming out in a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. He's it's like, out. Wait, it's out. I I I I've got it. I. I I can't bring myself to watch it yet, but uh, but now they've got Bambi the Bambi the Reckoning, Bambi the Reckoning, yeah. (laughs) That's a whole thing. (laughs) There's the what's what's that one they were talking about the other night? The Easter Bunny Massacre. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Well, they had Violet Night, which actually was really good. I thought. with, um, yeah, Violet Night was fine. Yeah, yeah, Violet was. Fu- I I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, I saw that with Bill the first time. That was my first watch of it. Yeah, I I love the uh, 
the Scandinavian aspect. I was like, cool, yeah. Santa was a Viking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, why not? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, no, that's fine. That's fine. How, how, how much longer do we, do we have you uh, for, Al? I, I don't want to keep you. If you uh, I really you should out. be thinking about getting off, getting off here because yeah, okay, it's trash day tomorrow. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, um, yeah. All right. So what um, what do you have uh, coming up? Um, well, got um, whatever film I'll be doing next. I don't know. Maybe I do have um, the first Omen, which I may. That may be the next one I watch, depending mm -hmm. on how I feel tomorrow, tomorrow mm -hmm. evening. Uh, but of course, got uh, on Friday, Films with Friends Friday Fantasy Edition, your The Hunter from the Future with special guest, you, deleted mm -hmm. scenes, and perhaps soundtrack to the Birdman if you can make it. Yeah. And then um, the week after that on 420. What a what a you know when we really need four twenty is watching your <laughs> your get a little get a little smoky smoky there, but mm -hmm. uh, on four twenty going to be watching Snowpiercer. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, it uh, post apocalyptic film there and sh shows you when you try to take care of uh, climate change and you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. So. Uh, might have to uh, check out that uh, Snowpiercer uh, Willy Wonka comparison thing again to kind of have things to look out for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because there, there's supposed to be some like fan theory that they're related <sighs> in, in some fashion. Yeah, it's a, it's a shared universe or something. Yeah, it's, so. it's interesting. Yeah, hmm. it, a lot of it works. Right, right. I'll, I'll have to look into that. Yep. But I do appreciate you having me. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I had. Glad I had. Uh, had the ability to stay awake a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but my, I do feel my eyes getting heavy. Indeed. And uh, want to thank, uh, of course, Troy Nanner for being here. By and yep. Jedi Bill, nice to have, nice to be on here with you and. Uh, Hope uh, everybody. Hope, of course, see you uh, in the YouTube reverse. Uh, continuing, so God, I can't even put words together now. I am starting to get tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good night. You guys take care. God bless y'all, and uh, find always find something fun to watch. Those are my words. So, take care. Take care. Al. Bye. Great, he's gone. Let's talk about him now. Nah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. Um, so there, there seems like there's going to be a few um, bright spots coming here, movie wise, and maybe some that are not so good, but maybe I'll watch them anyway. And, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, in the last few weeks, Sal's definitely caught, you know come up with a couple of titles that um, um, I hadn't heard of. So I got to I got to get my nose back to the grindstone here and start keeping up. Yep. Yep. All right. So. Um... All right, what's left to talk about? Um, guys, any, anything you uh, have anything in mind that you would like to uh, bring up while you're on the air? Nope, just not nope. looking forward to starting Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still have tomorrow off, so I'm... Lucky you. I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah. Lucky you. Although this is a pay week for me, so that that that's always nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. Uh, so uh, big eclipse. On Monday. Yeah, the eclipse tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, hearing all this talk about them firing up uh, CERN. Oh, no. I think that's somehow I'm going here. to cause some sort I of something. Let my dog out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I had to let my dog out. No um, worries. No worries. <sighs> so, yeah. Who knows? Right. Tomorrow could be the or t later today could just be the end of the world. Who knows? Okay, I'm fine with that actually. Um, no. Uh, well, guys. Um, Something happens, you make it. I don't. Um, tell one other writer I love her. God, I hope um, we make right, it. Right, exactly. <laughs> or, uh, or Jennifer Connelly, or we brought up Sydney Sweeney before, so that's fine. And, um, yeah. hey. yes, if, if I die, tell every woman I ever uh, went out with that I was I, thinking I about her on... again and have to reevaluate right. me. <laughs> Yeah, Bill. I plan on doing a, a watch and review when uh, Fallout goes live on Thursday ah. night. That will be 9 Pacific or 9 Mountain my time. <laughs> Do a live watch along and reaction. And tell, tell you all the goods, all the bads, all the highs, all the lows. Is it woke? Or is it gone broke? <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then regular stuff. I don't know. I don't know squat about the game, so <laughs> I I'll miss all the Easter eggs. I actually way. have the game on my computer and I've been playing it. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I built myself a gaming computer and that's one of the few games that I play on my computer. So so is there a, anything in particular between the the game and the show that you're looking forward to or uh no I just hope how how, don't how close and any woke. <laughs> yeah how close do you think they're going to get to uh well, I guess what uh, I'm trying to well, well, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, does the game give itself over to being a TV series? It, well, from the, what I've seen from the trailer, it does it looks like I, it's a huge off of uh, Fallout Four. Hmm. They have so many series in the in that Fallout series, but it, it from the trailer, I look like a lot from. What they did from part, the part four series. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna have a look. Yeah. Give my best opinions and say what's what. Right on. Well, so Troy, Ned, or anything uh, in the future you're looking forward to uh, to seeing anything that might. Uh, Okay, come to mind fantastic guests coming up on thursday things okay um which i am the hostess of mm -hmm. uh, and of course troy's my co-host on the show um i have maria with t and telly coming up uh this next thursday and in may i am going to have retro blasting yep nice so i have some really exciting guests coming up um, and I'm sure everyone's going to, to enjoy uh, hearing me talk with them. And, of course, you know, uh, since Retro Blasting has been on Troy's channel a few times, I, I know that uh, Troy's going to have a lot to say to him because now he's going to be on my channel. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Troy always jokes that Maria never wants to be on his channel. It's like, I just know when to catch her at a good time. <laughs> Yeah, I have some really nice guests coming up, um, including, you know, Dad Mad Walking, Andy Masterson, Curtis Selby, who is one of our um, our friends of the channel, mm -hmm. um, Rainforest Steve, Obnoxious and Anonymous, and 
Beyond the Hub pod podcast. Uh, he actually has his, his podcast on like spirits and ghosts and haunted places, which I am so cool with. I love mm -hmm. that stuff. So I'm real excited to have him on. Uh, his dad actually recommended the channel, and I can't remember his dad's name, but he's also a YouTuber, and he's got like this huge channel, so it's like, cool, I get a son on at least. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. But yeah. Some good stuff coming up. Troy. <clears throat> well, tomorrow night, uh, I think I, I mentioned before, uh, got a... Uh, double feature coming up tomorrow night, so we're starting early, 8 Central, 9 Eastern, over on Last Call, Monday Night at the Movies. Uh, be doing uh, Breakin' and Breakin' 2 Electric Boogaloo. Uh, the first movie is actually, I'd say, a cultural touchstone. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's had more impact on our culture than you even realize, and we will talk about that. And the second movie is a sequel that happened. <laughs> and we'll talk about that, too. <laughs> uh, so that's Monday night. Um, uh, Friday night, uh, yeah, so I, I didn't have this finalized uh, uh, as of uh, Geeky Geezers, but uh, Boomer and I talked out what we were going to do for, uh, for Last Call. And I think what we're going to be talking about is... Uh, the birth and rise of cable television. Something that I feel is kind of coming to an end now, but we're going to give you a little bit of uh, reminiscing, a little bit of our uh, favorite memories of some of, uh, some of the early cable shows, and uh, you know maybe a little bit of a history lesson there. Oh, and we're going to drink. We're, we're probably going to drink. Well, well I course. will be. I don't know about I don't know about Boomer because he's my designated driver, but I will definitely be drinking and probably very heavily. All right. All right. So uh Bill, um uh tell everybody the good news. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, the countdowns begin uh, to a milestone. I got sixty eight left to go to get Magical 5K number. Nice. Right on. I'm happy about that. <laughs> you need. You know, tubing's hard. It's not easy. It takes work. <laughs> it does. And hello to uh, Dulcimerist, who apparently did not get the notification. So. Oh, no. Dang it. <laughs> you know. Damn it. Well, you know, speaking of, of, of notifications, have you guys been noticing that you may or may not get a notification when something goes live, but when it ends, you get another notification <laughs> that, uh, you know, whoever the live streamer was uploaded a new video. <laughs> I, I swear I am getting this for every single, it had happened. I told you, uh, your live stream six minutes after it ended, it came up again as you had uploaded a new video, and I was like, "Did you like no. download it and re-upload it?" No, no. It's <laughs> happening with all the live streams. Everybody. Yeah. I I saw it uh, for uh, Midnight's Edge After Dark. I I was like, "Oh, he uploaded a video." No, it was notification of the two-hour stream he had just finished. Uh, well, that I I don't get told that it, 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 a new video had been uploaded, but I will get like about twelve or eighteen hours later. Oh, okay. you know, like a live stream will pop back up. You know, like, okay, yeah, from like YouTube's the night before get that or something. Stuff sorted for crying out loud. Yeah. All right. Um. That brings it around to me anyhow um speaking of youtube i'm definitely going to be here <laughs> you know yeah uh, tomorrow night um will be a mystery movie night at the regal and uh i will be nice. reviewing um whatever that movie might be hopefully it will be a uh, a good one um there is a reddit thread uh, where people um, 
try to guess what the movie's going to be. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Let me see if I can't find that one real super quick here and um, see what the uh, see what everybody's thinking that might be. Give me a moment. Um, let's see. Yep, yep. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, that. Uh, well, I. Oh, they're still talking about this. Um, I, okay, I, I'm sure you're all aware of that movie, Love Lies Bleeding, right? Mm -hmm. I think. I've okay. Heard of it. Yeah. Well, did you hear the story about the guy who was caught? Um, shall we say, uh, pleasuring himself <laughs> while no. watching that movie. Pee -wee. Oh, he pulled, he pulled a Pee Wee Herman. Okay. Yes. <laughs> They're still he talking about that. Well, um, at least with Pee Wee Herman, it was, it was in an adult movie theater. It's like, <laughs> it's kind of what people do, you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know about people. Maybe, uh, strange fellows i mean if that's if that's what you're going to see yeah, you can assume that there's people doing that you know that was the in the days before the internet yes <laughs> well, you still had to do public service for it yeah nowadays it's just a matter of point and click <laughs> wish I could bring up that video. The internet is for porn. Yep. The internet is for porn. Oh, Avenue Q. I love it. I love it. Replayer got the question. He is kind of parking on that display. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Alright, let me, uh, let's see. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be rated PG, and it's supposed to be two hours, but uh, the runtime is always wrong. Um, it says, uh, Unsung Hero. I don't even know what that movie is. I'll have to look that up. The Long Game. Yeah, that's possible. Um... Seen those are the two movies they're bringing up. I think I've seen a trailer thread. for Unsung Hero. I don't know where, but. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to look that one up myself. Bear with us, folks. <laughs> This is what this is what us movie people do. We 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 get well. This is this song. is the danger of 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 this because you have a huge to watch list and that list is just growing. Yeah. Oh oh that's oh okay. Yeah, I've seen this. I mean the trailer for this. Not have I haven't seen the movie. That's the Australian one. But the, the Australian family comes to America and they become like a faith-based uh, singing group. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, it's it's from the looks of things, it's going to be either Unsung Hero or The Long Game. So uh, whichever one it might be. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I will be reviewing it uh, tomorrow night, and then, uh, which no one will be watching because they're going to be over on Twitch's channel watching the breaking films, <laughs> which is what I'm going to be doing as soon as I'm done. Um, uh, Samuel Proctor, and hello, thank you for being here. Uh, I have a question. How big is your watch list? 
Oh boy. Um, well, I don't well, keep it's not the a size watch of the list watch list. It's the quality. It's, it's what you do with it, you know. Exactly. Um, yeah. uh, sure, are you talking about young Einstein's? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, the invention of beer. That was a good movie. I, it. I, was, I haven't seen it in years though. It was stupid and funny. <laughs> but what's that guy's name? Yahoo Serious. Yahoo, Yahoo Serious, Serious <laughs> yeah. Great name, Yahoo Serious. <laughs> I'm not so sure you are. <laughs> I wonder what this Joker would say to him. <laughs> Why so serious? That's my name. That's my name. That's why. <laughs> so I'm asking because I have an exact number on mine. Not to compare, of course. I don't have. I I don't really keep a watch list because I know I'll just I'll never get to it. <laughs> you know, I kind of, I kind of just. Yeah, you know, it's all a matter of time. Um. What I'm in the mood for at the time, and you know, what I think might make for a good review and, and whatnot. I mean, I have stuff from last year that I've watched that I haven't done reviews for yet. So I've got to get on it. Um, all right. And speaking of getting on it, uh, we got to start wrapping this up. Um, all right, you, you've all uh, chimed in on what you have uh, coming up. Was there anything that uh, either of you missed that you'd like to uh, mention before we uh, close out? Uh, my uh, retro cinema on Saturday, I forgot to mention that, it's going to be uh, Dawn of the Dead. Which one? Which one? Uh, which one, Troy? Oh, it's the, uh, it's the remake. Snyder. The remake yeah. from 2008. Yeah, whatever year it was, yeah, 2008. 2008 yeah. Which is actually better than a lot of people realize. It's all right. Yeah, it's not I bad for it. I still dig the ones from the late 70s and early 80s. Yeah. I agree, but then I feel like we would need to do a whole the whole series, you know, and it's uh, Yeah, yeah. You know. Mary? Troy, Bill, anything you forgot to uh, bring up? No, just super nope, appreciate nope. everyone and uh, <laughs> make sure you subscribe. We, yes, uh, subscribe we, to everybody if you can. We would all love the support. It encourages us and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if, if you bothered to hang out with us, you probably want us to keep doing this and this is what keeps us doing it. Bill Samira says, in the name of the king by U.A. Bowles, a masterpiece. I don't know if I would call it a masterpiece, mm -hmm. but of his movies, it is probably my favorite one. <laughs> um, amazing cast, and yeah, actually, it's not a bad cast at all. Um, Ray Liotta is the evil wizard, because why not? Um, <laughs> because why not? <laughs> Burt Reynolds is the king because shits and giggles, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that movie actually did have a pretty decent cast to it, to be honest. Um, it wanted to be Lord of the Rings so bad. <laughs> Don't they all? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Matthew Lillard. Lillard is funny in it. Uh, yeah. He's one, one of the villains, actually. It's kind of weird. It's kind of medieval fantasy movie with, like, elves and orcs and then Matthew Lillard out of nowhere in the middle of the film. Uh, <laughs> it's like, like Lord of the Rings on crack. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> crack. 
Yeah, Ron Perlman's in it. Gimli's in it. Um, John Rhys Davies. Um, John Rhys Davies is another one of those that's yeah. in all kinds of really great movies and some really crap movies. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, wrap it up here. Let everybody know what I'm going to be up to tomorrow night. Mystery Movie Night at the Regal, 10 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, 8.30 p.m., live from Sparkwood in 21. Troy and Ed are going to be joining me there as well, along with Aged Boomer. Uh, Thursday night, right after Thursday things at 11.30 p.m., uh, tentatively, unless uh, Thursday things goes over. Um, what will, of course, be the weekend update. Um, uh, Friday, I'm going to be joining Al for uh, a special Friday night films with friends, your Hunter of the Future. Then, of course, uh, uh, Saturday, I will uh, most likely be joining uh, Bill for uh, uh, After Hours Karaoke. Oh, I forgot. Um, Action Theater, we're going to be watching The Beekeeper with oh, yeah. um, Jason Statham. Oh, yeah. no, the bees! The bees! Not the bees! <laughs> um, there will be bees. Um, <laughs> Roy, now be talking like this to the whole movie. Right. I'm I'm thinking of doing my commentary for that movie as Statham. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Um oh, is although I did in this scene here, see is uh or I cut the guy's fingers off and uh drove off a bridge with him. Um Right, it's good. All right, I'm in this movie with Jamie I and C. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> you might remember him from Man of Steel. Yeah, great movie. Anyway, um <laughs> or was Alfred. Alfred. It was Alfred too. It was Alfred, yeah. Anyway. Um so yeah, and uh I am I'm doing this um I'm making my second attempt at this uh, uh, uh read what you own challenge. And uh I'm gonna be uh dropping some videos about that this week. So uh stay tuned for that. All right. Um all right. Uh, any final words before we uh, close it out? Just make sure I share the love, peeps. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, Netter, why don't you go out with your uh, usual uh, outro? Well, y'all know what I always say. We could talk amongst ourselves, and that's all well, good, and fun. But it is so much more fun when you guys are joining us in the chat. And you're dropping your comments, questions, trivia, being goofy, whatever it may be. And it doesn't feel like we're separated by miles or continents in some cases. It feels like we're all hanging out in the same room, enjoying each other's company and having a great time. And you guys, you know you're not just our friends. You are our family. We love you guys, and we appreciate you so very much. You can be anywhere right now, and you're here, and it's so encouraging. I love seeing you guys just, you know, talking amongst each other in the chat. Uh, you know, encouraging us. It's so great to see y'all here. With that said, the weekend is over. We're going to be starting a new week, so I hope that your upcoming week is fabulous. I hope to see you on a last call Monday night movies, or I probably got that a little backwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's the next place we'll see you, but we will definitely see you then. Until then, good night and God bless. All right. And as I always say, I want to once again thank everybody who joined us on Al's channel, on Nether's channel, everyone who joined in on uh, my Twitter feed, including Real Weed Nation Gaming Clips. Daniel's Hot Topics joining us right at the end. Also, Sashi, Dulce Marist, 
Samuel Proctor, Tommy and the Game Pick Collective, Gary Ambrosia, Connie Cleary, Kronos, and let me scroll up. I want to make sure I didn't forget anyone. I hate it when I forget anyone. Uh, JPRPH1, the Clue Channel. And of course, I would like to thank Piao Presents for joining us. It's the start of a new week, folks. Let's do our best to make it better than last week was. From HQ and all points north, south, east, and west. And beyond. Good night. Take care. Stay strong. Because this is how we win. <laughs>